What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game of here. Welcome you back to some more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode of this freaking series, we experienced a freaking death. I don't know how. Honestly, do not know how the frick Nagito died. But that is, uh, luckily for you, what we get to investigate. Uh, oh my gosh, chat. Sorry, I'm turning up the brightness on this. I was not expecting that to happen. Anyway, so, yeah, we had some crazy shenanigans. Shenanigans, I say. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely threatened. I'm definitely scared. Let's freaking figure this out. Nagito's body. I never expected Nagito to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this, it's just too cruel. And he wasn't completely useless. There were times where we were only able to reach the truth because of him. But everything's good and bad if about him is gone. Well, never to be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again as well. No, now's not the time to think of unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right here, right now. For now, I need to investigate everything about this body that catches my eye. The knife stabbed through Nagito's right hand. Did the killer do this? How? How could they do something so cruel? Um, the knife. It must be from the military base. Yeah, the one you snooped around? Hmm. Could never. Could never. Military base. Ah, uh, now that you mention it, you're right. It looks like it's a survival knife. Well? By the way, it seems like the wound on his leg and left arm were caused by that same knife. Which means after the killer had finished stabbing Nagito's legs and left arm, they tried stabbing him. They stabbed him through the right hand. It cannot be. And then they finished him off with a spear? How cruel. Then does that mean the killer was went to the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? But they could have just killed him with stabbing with the knife. Why do they need the spear at all? You are right. That's definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? A reason they had to use the spear, huh? Survival knife had been out of the truth bullet section. A spear with a flashy ornament on the impaled deep it, on it impaled deeply in Nagito's stomach. Hmm. There's no way around it. That looks like it was the fatal wound. What's this? Oh my! What's this? Such a strange-looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends from the tip of the handle, and there's an iron weight attached to it. I see! I see! Use that cord to whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? Of course not! It's the Spear of Gungnir, right? You definitely just came up with that now. Hey, hey. Oh, by the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? I feel like I saw it in New Nezumi Castle. What? what? Nezumi Castle? What I was designed to be afraid of the mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn you, mice. Damn you to the hell. I see. Even he doesn't know what's inside the castle. Well... More importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle, it looks like that had part has blood on it as well. But for some reason, this section of the cord doesn't have any blood on it. It's about the same size as a human fist. It's strange that that section of cord does not have any blood on it. Also, Chiaki mentioned this earlier, but apparently that spear came from Nezumi Castle. It might be better if I confirm that later. Uh, no, we already know that. We saw that. We literally saw that spear already. There's a cut on his upper left arm. His legs have a stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. They're probably the reason that the wound on his left arm doesn't look like it's that deep in comparison to his other wounds. Well, regardless, it doesn't change the fact that the hide have hideous wound that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Feels like hmm. the there's something strange. Strange? What? Hmm? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think that blood is from where when his left arm was sliced, but it doesn't look. Doesn't the blood spatter look strange? It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's because... Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it splattered. Mm. Well, it could explain the blood on his palm, but... Mm, there's, something else that, there's something else that's strange. Mm. When you flip over and look the back of his hand... Well? There's also blood, but only above the middle of the joint of his finger. You're right. Why is it only on this part? See, just as I said, right? It's strange, right? I win. Yeah, sure. You win. 
but it's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? Blood on the left hand has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. There's still some things I need to confirm. Oh, well, the rope and his face. Both of Nagito's legs are tied up. Each rope are tied to a pillar nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to the Madakuma file, the wounds on his legs were all stab wounds. Does this mean the killer didn't just tie up Nagito, but they also stabbed his legs? Why? Why would the killer do something like that? At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge towards him. Or they might have been torturing him. That's a torture. I mean, if they wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? If you disregard the spear in his chest, the other wounds that are inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nagito's body were from the killer torturing him? If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nagito confess? What was it? Something that would have led to the traitor? Even so. Well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt the killer must have held a deep grudge towards Nagito. Refusing to let him die easily, I can totally understand this dark impulse like that. But even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have to go this far? Torture wounds has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. And then we have this, the burnt rope. Nagito's right wrist is tied up with rope, but it looks like the tip of the rope is burnt off. Could it be a result of the fire? But that's weird. If the rope burned off like this, why are Nagito's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? Burned rope has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. And then, of course, the fact that he's being suffocated. Hmm. He must have been in great pain. He clearly had an agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered with duct tape. Was this to keep Nagito from screaming for help? This is bad. Jeez, what a horrible look on his face. The blood splattered all over and it doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered up with duct tape. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to look at him. Uh, got a minute? Sorry. Excuse me. Jackie moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Nagito's face. And with one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off of his mouth. Hey, hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. Uh, it'll be fine. I'll put it right back. Uh, back right away once I'm done investigating here. Hey, hey, hey! Putting the tape back isn't the issue, you ungrateful swine! You're gonna be cursed! Mm. The blood on Nagito's face. It looks like it mostly came from the slice on his left arm. Mm, if that's the case, mm. it's no use. She's not even listening. Hey. hey, about that blood splatter on his face... There's no blood under the duct tape. Huh? What? What's wrong with that? Well, the duct tape has crinkles, like it's been, like it was sticking towards the inside of his mouth, right? Nagito was probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. <sighs> Seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagito's mouth was covered with the duct tape before he got all those wounds on his body. He tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is that something we really need to worry about? Uh, I don't really get it, but put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, that might have been some kind of clue too. I should remember it. I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagito's body. Jeez, I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. Even I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body right in front of me, and one of my peers is the killer responsible? And I have to investigate his death so that I can find the killer? Am I used to something as abnormal as that? Would that mean I'm becoming abnormal too? Monokum was dead? The blood coming out of his stomach? Hey! No response. He's dead, Jim. Just kidding! I'm not dead! Is this... One of the life slice plushies to you that we were able to produce at the factory. <laughs> if you are mistaking a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal too. Hey! Don't put oversized garbage there. It's so misleading. What, the heck? what are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Then why did he do it? Making a hole like it got stabbed and going to the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood? Did he try and imitate Nagito's body or something? I had nothing to do with that. Huh? You're so 
He's probably lying. Seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like that plushie over there. Uh, you seem pissed off more than usual these days, Monami. You better watch what you say. I feel like it. I can wipe. If I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know. I... Uh, I won't give in to those threats. I'll fight you to the very end. I will definitely take back the seat of the world supremacy from Monokuma. Looks like those annoyances are gone. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, then who did this? Could the killer have done it? If so, is this Nagito's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. Monokuma plushie has been added to the truth bolt section of the handbook. Yeah, I expected that I could be figuring out these, the lighter. Ah, is this? It's an oil lighter. This is the cur when, where the curtains would have been hanging. It looks like the fire did extinguish or did extensive damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here. Just kidding. Ah, an oil lighter. Someone probably wanted to keep warm. Grandpa. It's almost a foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the fire. Yeah. Oil lighters can continue to burn after someone has let go of them. Which means? So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Using the oil lighter, huh? Do you think the killer would set up some sort of trick with it? You are right. The killer probably planned to destroy the evidence by setting the warehouse on fire they caused the fire to destroy evidence that's the only reason i can think of why a killer would set fire to their crime scene but looks like a bunch of plastic bottles the remnants of plastic that were scattered all over the place this is probably yeah the fire grenades <clears throat> fire grenades weren't actually useful in the end. The fire only extinguished thanks to the sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, this evidence really isn't all that strange. We don't even mark it in our truth bullets, that's funny. Uh, oh, oh, we're gonna go on accounts now? Like... I'm not freaking out about like it like Kazuichi, but I definitely cannot stop thinking about it. When Monokuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's gonna happen? Huh? What's gonna happen? This rotten school trip is going to end, right? We can finally go back home. Carefree to the end. Does that mean you don't think that'll happen? Well, yeah. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Hey, hey. What do you mean by something? Shut up. He's making us kill each other, you know? Well, who would could be even worse than that? I don't know. But the Monokuma we're talking about, you know. Or this is Monokuma you were talking about, you know. There's no way this will end smoothingly with a countdown. Anyway, like I said before, if we screw up here... It's the end for us. For now, let's focus on the investigation. We'll think about the final countdown after we live through the class trial. Then don't bring that strange stuff like that up. Th strange stuff like that up again. Um. It mattered for Gundam's killing and for Mikon, and it looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What doesn't matter? So... The time. It looks like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file. The time death was noon sharp. If it was noon, what were we doing at that time? Hmm. Hmm. What were we doing? Well, right now it's, it's 12.30 p.m. So, it also has a clock function? Then that means Nagito died 30 minutes ago. Huh? It happened that recently? He's totally a fresh kill? Fresh. Seems like a bad way to describe it. Um, if it happened 30 minutes ago, it wasn't that around the time we started struggling with the bombs. You're right. Those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon. Right. Which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is Nagito's killer. Mm. But this could be when Nekamaru... Th like this, but this could be like when Nekamaru died. The killer could have also used some sort of automatic setup. Also, the crime looks very detailed, so they wouldn't have needed... They would have needed time to prepare. Right. Then whoever doesn't have an alibi before we found the bombs is suspicious. And again, that's that Sonia, like Sonia, literally did not go where we instructed her to go. Instead, went to the military base, um, found a knife from the military base, mind you. Was the one that knew about the grenades, mind you. There was so much that Sonia knew that nobody else did. So. In my opinion, 
if it is not Sonya, it has to be Nagito. Nagito would have figured all of this stuff out as well and just wanted to end it because he lost, right? Nagito is unfortunately the kind of character that I could see doing that. So those are my, honestly, my two people I think committed this crime. Huh? Wait, none of us have an alibi for that time. That's when we split up to search for the bombs. Yeah, that's the problem. She looked like she was deep in thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Yep. Yeah, about that sprinkler. That's one of the sprinkler heads that activated to put out the fire. Well? You can see a grinder right next to it, right? There. Mm -hmm. Can you see the red streak? Whoa, Nagito's blood made it up there. That is that is definitely weird. Huh? You're right. I definitely see it. It looks like a small red line on the ceiling grinder. Yeah. Is that blood? Blood? The color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get there, right? Plus, it's in a straight line. Mm. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. I should remember this. Yeah, it's definitely remember worthy. Blood on the grinder. Now then, I guess that's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagito. There should have been another reason as well. If not, they wouldn't have gone through the trouble of trying with the rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, there's no reason to inflict any wounds other than a fatal one. So what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate the other areas to figure out that out. All right, I should try investigating the other areas inside the warehouse first. There's a lot of Dover Monic Duma panels. The panel near the curtain. Yeah! See? So. They like played domino because that was what started the fire. The panel near the curtain in the back tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? Why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here, I seem to recall. Yeah, they set that up. They set that up to light it on fire, to light the curtain on fire. And it took banging on the door for that to happen. That's why it was blocked in the beginning. Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Huh? Mm -hmm. Look, the tipped over panel by the net entry is really close to the door. So maybe the reason that the panel's tipped over is... It's fine. I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Huh? It's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. I knew it. It's a trap. Seriously, stop it, okay? I didn't tell... Didn't I tell you it would be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What happened? Opening it to opening it slowly. Akane ignored their protests. With a mighty kick, the door flew open. Bam! Could it be? Was that it? And there's something else that I've been wondering. Hey, hey. The Monokuma panels are tipped over, starting from the entrance, uh, from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, that's the only one in a neat and orderly. Um. Isn't that clearly strange? Strange, that means we can speculate it was done intentionally. mp3 player the music this is an mp3 player it there was even a speaker plugged into it but why is there Maybe. it looks like that was the weird music that was playing from there hmm. you know that music was blaring when the fire started yeah you're right it looks like it's busted from getting drenched by the sprinklers there's no mistaking it that music was playing from the mp3 player i don't disagree with that but why would the killer playing music from this Is that the curtain? No, that's just the back of the warehouse. Tons of CDs. No. Is it 
like talking to people then? It must be. Looks like Sonia is focused on investigating the warehouse. Which reminds me, there's something I need to ask her about. Now that we've pretty much finished investigating Nagito's body, I think it's time I talk to her. Hey, Sonia, do you have a minute? Hi. Yes, what is it? I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagito set in the warehouse exploded. Hi. Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It's alright, it's not a bomb. Why do you... How, why do you know that the bombs were fake? Um, um well... That's not all either. When we were looking at the bombs, why were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island instead. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Were, where were you and what were you doing during that time? Oh my. Oh, oh my. It cannot be. Did, did you ex to suspect me? It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Jesus, shit, you son of a bitch. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. You're not helping your case, woman. So, Sonia. I am sorry. I am terribly sorry. I was panicking. Um, I shall calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of the bomb of where the bombs were. Huh? Well? At first, I was worried that my somebody someone might use them for their nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean you, when you heard Nagito's planted bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate them? That is. And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we were all gathered. Please listen. And because of that, I reached the conclusion. The bombs Nagito brought were from the military base, which means that they were fake bombs. How'd you find out that the bombs at the military base were fake? Um. Because I attempted to use one of them. What? I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door in the ancient ruin. Um, At this time, I believed that the bombs were real. And I thought that I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. However, that plan was an utter failure. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. God damn it! All to hell! Gee, so that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Mommy as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means? If those bombs are the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagito took them. And that is why I knew it was a fake. However, I did not think it was strange when Nagito blew up the hotel lobby. Um... That bomb was real. And I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that might have been Nagito's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he set were also real. If so, then Nagito's actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is his reasoning for doing it. Um, With this, I have explained everything. There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. I still do, don't worry. Alright, I pretty much finished looking for clues in the warehouse. I was able to find some clues, but there still is so many things I don't understand. You look worried. I, I mean, I am. Well? At this time, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. You mean, it's good to investigate other places as well? She might be right. There are several things I've been wondering besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonia mentioned, the plushy factory next door, Nezumi Castle, where we, the spear was originally came from, and Nagito's room as well. If I'm going to understand these, the reasons for his actions, I need to know more about him. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Can you hear you, hey, you me? guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too? In response to Shiaki, the others gathered around her. I, I agree. I, I was thinking about proceeding the other area. It seems like we have the same idea. Huh? But is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have a choice. There aren't enough of us. Besides, we've investigated all we can here. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, it looks like clues we found aren't enough to piece the incident together. So we need to search them in other areas, probably. Mm. Well, al alternatively, if there aren't any clues in other areas, we have to completely give up. You don't really need to say that. Hey, hey. Then it's okay if we leave this place. <laughs> There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there is no other way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer.
if we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. And that is our reality. And that is why there is no time for us to stand around. Apparently bombs were stuffed on this truck and were actually fireworks, which would remind me. The truck looks like it came from the military base. Nagita must have brought it from there. Other than that, there is nothing particular that catches my eye. That's an enormous machine, but it stopped for now. Looks like nothing's related to the incident here. The break room is on the other side of the door. This is where we obtain the fire grenades. Anything inside? Hmm. There's nothing on the floor. That looks like a clue, not even trash. This reminds me, we saw Nagito's video message on the laptop. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he have time? Or how did he time his message so perfectly? No, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by the wireless signal from a detonator. That is why we have this video message. That is the only thing I don't get. At the time, Nagito should have been already been killed. That means that video was recorded in advance. That's right. Besides that video, there might be data on the laptop that could, we could use as a clue. With that thought, I tried messing around with the laptop, but it's no use. It's locked. There's no way we can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe there is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. The life-size Monokuma plushies are crammed inside the enormous basket. But it looks like there isn't any clues. So talking to Sonya is the only thing we can do. My. I've never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Well, if Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into anyway. Uh -huh. While I was starting, I was staring at the, the Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb that went off at the lobby might have been a setup here. Huh? You have a if you hide a bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make for a frightening weapon. Do you think the group that is forcing us to kill like each other would devise something like that? Maybe. A plushie bomb? is an act of terrorism. Right. Let us rip these apart. Let me rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Hold on. If there's a bomb inside these, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly mess with it? Either way, it is all gravy. All gravy? What the hell does that even mean? Stop! Oh my god, there's no bomb. Um, You'll know if you just pick me up. See? All you feel is a soft weight on the cotton. Hmm. Hmm. You were right. Then, where did Nagito obtain the bomb he used? Who knows? Oh, I wonder. Hmm. If I'm going to give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. What? To tell you the truth, all the bombs there are all fakes. Please wait. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. No. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it was foreshadowed that a killing was going to happen. That's why I'm just telling you for the first time. <sighs> I feel relieved. But if the bomb wasn't at the military base or the factory, then he brought it from the octagon. Where? I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. <laughs> Let's try it. Did I say something I should not have said? It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. Monokuma's account has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Jeesh. So much is just boom, 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 boom. We're getting hit hard with a bunch of things uh, outside because we don't need to go to the plushie factory. We don't need to go to the work, the work area because the next area I want to say if we go this way is the castle. Or no, it is the military base. Who's investigating? Probably Fuyuhiko? No, Kazuichi. Honestly, in a weird, ad abnormal way, I feel a lot more confident that Kazuichi's in this area. Damn it, this is a dangerous place. This is dangerous place is a reason all the messed up stuff is happening. Hey. Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they're not going to take better care of this. It's easy to say that, but there's no one on this island that we can, who can do that.
That is the dreadful how a helicopter that executed terror terrorist. Doesn't have anything to do with the incident. Good. A huge supply of guns and other firearms stepped into the truck bed. Whoa. Ah, found it! Mm -hmm. What'd you find? Huh? Well, that truck bed over there has guns in it. And also stuff like a survival knife. Wait, that's... Yep, that's the knife. Or one of the knives. So there's multiple. Maybe. Which means the killer obtained the knife from here. Right. The killer is someone who visited the military base at least once. Everybody. <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. That does actually sound fishy AF. I literally finally was like, I trust you. And like, honestly, go for it, King. And I'm like, and then he's like, this is actually my first time being, bruh. If the bombs are fake, this might be fake too. I'm not brave enough to check it out for myself. And then talking to actual Kazuichi. That, literally, I pointed at Kazuichi, but okay. Man. Oh, we already talked. Oh, this. We... When I tried looking at the truck bed, it's empty. Nothing else is here. When I first came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sonya was telling the truth. Ah, as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched the inside of the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. But did Nagito know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought that they were the real thing. No, never mind. He's said as much as in the video message. So, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there's enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No. Is that really it? Did Nagito only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. Sketchily enough, that's a possibility. I think that literally is everything here. Yeah. It's just updating things. And I, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so the castle... Oh, wait. Ooh, let's check our pet. I don't want any despair points on our pet. We're not... I, I am going to try my darndest to not get any despair points on my pet. It's going to be difficult. Vendor Street. Am I crazy? Where did the castle go? Did I just like pass over the castle? Like, what? Uh, yes, I did because that's on the fourth island, John. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is on, it's over here. <laughs> Wrong area. So it's, it's this place. Um, they wanted the plushie factory, which we did investigate. Wait, is that? No, that's the roller coaster. I want the freaking slow way again. Good job. Okay, that's the castle. Go check my pet again. Freaking, it is it is being a butt nugget. Dang it, pet! You're not allowed. You're not supposed to be a butt nugget here. Okay, let's head inside this castle. And yeah, one of them is taking off. Hi, Fujiko. Yeah, we can only look at the three things. So let's look at the spear first. A spear with a flashy ornament on it hanging on from the wall. The spear, definitely. That's it. I see. Just as I thought. It looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord attached to the handle. And there's a weight at the end of it. Also. Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. Hmm. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. The spear of Gungnir, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with something as lame as that. But why did the killer use a spear in the knife? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, they could have just killed with the knife, and it would have been easier, too. There's no way a spear like this with this unnecessary cord thing would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose this spear for a reason. What could it be? Because they're used to it? I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Nagito is trying to make us suffer even after he's died. Well, now's not the time for thinking about stupid things like that. I haven't investigated his cottage yet. It is too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find out a clue. Alright, let's go. We don't even get to see this. I wanted to make doubly sure here because that seemed a little bit sus that it was like, oh, actually just go to Nagito's Cottage. And I'm like, mm. and the fact that this investigation period, if, oh, I, yeah, if this investigation period is actually this close to being done, it just feels a little awful, off, not awful. It just feels off that this investigation period is like, I mean, to be fair, a lot of them have been. Oh, wait, other way. A lot of them have been on the closer end of one one episode. Some some of them have been two because I just don't know. But I feel like I'm getting guided here, and that's almost more threatening. Because I feel like if I'm being guided, then this trial is going to be tough. And, you know, I'm here for it. We need a challenge. But I'm definitely sketched out. Oh my gosh, I it is This pet is being a freaking butt. Why is this pet being so much more difficult than the others? Is it because I actually gave it hope and so it's gonna make me double check and double check and double check and continually double check? I could see that. Bruh, I walked, I have to micromanage this pet so hard. I am, I honestly want to do it off screen. I actually want to do that one off screen, but I know I shouldn't and it's not in my best interest to. Sonya, Mahiru, Ibuki, it is so crazy to see all of these peeps. Because a lot of these peeps are dead, like, most of these peeps are dead. There's my room. There's Kazuichi's room. Byakuya. Fuyuhiko. Oh, there's Nagido's room. Oh my, you want to go inside Nagido's room too? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagido's cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. She begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. I didn't even do that. Then do it, because it's sweet, and it's made out of black bean paste. Hey, we don't have time for you to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. I guess I have no other choice. I gotta do that right. See, I have opened the door. You can freely investigate now. This isn't my first time seeing that, but that's why the door opened with this. Or why does the spell open with a door like that? Or with a spell like that? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage is key is computerized hey, hey. more importantly let's go inside that door and is now open yeah you're right i am scared <laughs> whoa so nagito was living here what was he thinking inside this room what was he feeling as he spent days here i can't even imagine wanting to see absolute hope becoming despair so we could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue that might be a hidden here as well.
Well, first things first, there's Monami's treasure. Which, again, is sketchy. A fancy-looking treasure box covered in a sparkling pink lights. It totally stands out. Ah, oh, could this be? Yeah, Monami's treasure. Can you let me know if you find my treasure? It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. Yeah. That treasure box. Chiaki, do you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, he was just reacting. This looks like Monami stole a treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monami was talking about was Nagido. But why would Nagido even steal this in order to find out? It might be good to see what's inside. Okay. Is it going to be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know? If, we, if this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. I turned back towards the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside, there was a notebook. This is it. Why is a notebook inside a treasure box like this? It's something important. I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leaping through it. It contained sloppy drawings as if it were drawn by children, and the entries looked like it was chicken scratch. Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up, and things turned bad. Day two, Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today, and everyone is so tired. This is a diary. Looks like it. Did Monami write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five. Page after page of poorly written entries continued in the notebook. I don't really understand it, but it looks like there aren't any clues in here. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. Day 16. We have been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone looks hungry and on edge. Hayame tried to go in the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Huh? Hey, hey. Hi, mate. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Stop it! Hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! Whoa! From out of nowhere, Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I won't forgive you. you! Did I ask you to look at my... Look... I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside! Jeez, that was close. If any... If I had come any later, he would have seen in the inside of the notebook. Unfortunately, you were a little too late. But if his notebook is here, then Nagita was the thief. Betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student. Hey, that notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? The diary? Um, it seems that way. That's right. This is the most important diary, or my important diary, where all of my maiden secrets are written. Hey, hey, you liar. You always show up out of nowhere. Monami. It's not good to lie, you know. Lie? There's no way you wrote in that notebook. After all, Monami can't even write. Huh? What are you saying? Jeez, I can write letters easily. I can finally write the letter B. No, you can't. Because you have no fingers on your hands. See, bullseye. I know, because I'm the same way, too. Huh? Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? So that's what this is about. You're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. It looks like it is time to settle things between us and get clo it's getting closer every second. Hey, I know what you guys are getting so serious about, but is what Monokuma said true? He said if we if you didn't write in your notebook, is that true? If so, who wrote um, it? Well, um, you know, it's um that's what I put in. Bye bye. Excuse me. Hold on. Dang it, she's totally running away again. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try and get answers from her. But still, I really wanted to ask her about the notebook. Well actually, it might be better I didn't ask her that. Monami's notebook has been added to the truth bullet section in the handbook. His bed and probably has nothing to do with anything. Oh, what? Hey. There's something hidden under the bed. The usual place for hiding things. Yeah. Like, no. Not like that. Well, we should still check just in case. 
with no expectations, without thinking, I peeked under the bed and, hmm, there's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. Huh? What is this? Looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. They look like the real deal. Did he get this from the military base? A gas mask and rubber gloves? He was hiding things under his bed? What did Nagito use this stuff for? Gas mask and gloves has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Hajime, was there anything else under the bed? Let me see. I peeked under the bed once again and started looking around the area of the supermarket bag and hmm, there's a small piece of paper on the floor. A piece of paper with made of blue aluminum. A round thin piece of aluminum, huh? It's similar to those seals that go over jars and unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. Who knows? It might be too soon to decide that. A piece of blue paper has been added to the truth bullet section of the notebook. Our time of investigating is winding down. The bookshelf might take some time to investigate, but we should try examining other areas first. The window's probably normal, but we'll check it out anyway. Basic layout of my, like my cottage. There was nothing uh, out about this window that really caught my eye. Something could definitely be in the fridge. There's a refrigerator? Huh? Nice. My cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagita probably supplied it himself. Hmm. Why would he go through the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? As I talk with the Chiaki, I open the refrigerator out curiously. There really isn't much inside. The only thing in the refrigerator is a brown bottle. Mm. Hmm. For someone who doesn't like cold, who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like his stomachs or he stocked much. But the bottle clearly isn't drink, right? Really? It looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder? Maybe? I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. Hey, this is... Mm. Yeah, it looks like poison. But poison looks like there's a warning label on the back let's examine in a little bit more detail but be careful with that bottle don't drop it stop it don't worry like that i'm going to get nervous i grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle poison made specifically for killing someone it's monokuma's special poison the enhanced liquid is high quality or highly potent and takes effect immediately please handle with care though it's volatile or Voli or v oh god volatility is low the liquid is very dangerous when vaporized in a gaseous state it is heavier than air it breaks down in minutes and it's susceptible to hydro hydrolysis so it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications please keep the liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from the sunlight this sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagito find something like this? The question could apply to the bomb he used in the hotel too. Apply to the bomb? There should be no reason for Nagito, Nagito to be able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the fun house. This poison. He must have brought it with him from there too, right? He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during that last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and a poison during the class trial? Jeez, how dangerous. What would he have done if it accidentally if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about that scares me. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him to the at the lobby. But what about this poison, huh? It looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Another trap? Perhaps. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using the poison before he died. If that actually exists, it could be really bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on this island? What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? Monokuma's poison has been out of the truthful section of your handbook. And lastly, the bookshelf. There's a lot of books and other mysterious items stuffed on the shelf. The genes and the types of items are also random. I can't make any sense of it whatsoever. Well? 
They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? I definitely don't know much about Nagito. But just by looking at this. So what should we do? It is really difficult to look through all these piles. Does this mean we should ignore it though? Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hayame. Wait, what? It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things, you know? There might be private stuff in there. Well, that might be true, but... So... I'll leave the shelf to you. I think I'm just getting persuaded without real to do this without realizing it. I sighed and walked towards the shelf. One by one, I started removing various books and items, examining each one. But as I examined them carefully, there still is a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there can be any clues here. Huh? Uh, well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal. Indeed. It's the school badge of Hope Peaks Academy. Does that have information of our stolen memories? Uh, unfortunately, I could not find any clues about that. This file does contain our information. Just doesn't contain our information, just Hayabe's information. Nagito said it only contained information about me, but is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? As he said, I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies too, though. I opened the file, or opened the file I held in my hand to confirm that. I instantly realized that something was strange. If this really only has my information, then why is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me just as I thought Nagito had lied. Aside from my information, there was information about the others, Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, and Sonya, and everyone who died, and the pages of had inf pages of information about them as well. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe he'd make such a strange lie. So that means the rest of us might lie too. I turned to the page containing my information and began reading through the contents. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, my height, and weight, and so forth. But there was one thing specifically that caught my eye. The words, Reserve Corps Student. There was no denying it. It confirmed I was truly a Reserve Corps Student, and from the Reserve Department. Why? Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why am I the only one who's from the Reserve Department? Why am, why am I here with the other Ultimates? Hi, Ame. Did something happen? Uh, well, I found a strange file. <gasps> Isn't that the special prize Nagato received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. Not just my profile. The profile of everyone on this island is also here, too. Nagito was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at the file? Shiaki leaned against me and peered into the file. You're right. My profile, My profile oh. was really in here. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the academy. Again. It's impossible to obtain new clues from this. Yeah, seems like it. Ah, uh, hold on. Huh? What happened? I, I just noticed right now, but... The file. His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name's the only one missing, right? Who? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Look carefully, no matter where I look. I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> yeah, because Diakia was from the first game. So he wouldn't be in there because that would be really awkward. No way! So what if his name isn't written in that file? Perhaps based on that, you think he might be the traitor? No, it's not just that because his name isn't written in here. It's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in a killing school life at Hope's Peak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Ah, hmm. oh, well, it pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name 
and about the killing skill life is totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. A, a different reason? Getting all riled up. Uh, how should I put that? This, you guys have been getting all worked out about that Byakia for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think uh, that surrounds Byakia doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. Huh? What do you mean? What the heck? Uh, you don't have to ask me that. You'd know the answer just by looking through those profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. Suddenly, I came across a page filled with question marks. Everyone's section was filled out with the question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter. That. That's Biakia's true identity. True identity. He was a fake, pretending to be the ultimate affluent prodigy, Biakia Togami. A, a fake? Hey, um... The fact... That his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight either. Surprisingly enough, that is correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his age and gender was unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Basically, he doesn't exist. He's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. <laughs> Though I'm not jealous of that at all. That, that person wasn't really Byakia Togami? <laughs> Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the Killing School game? So cool. <laughs> his physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others as well. Real imposters are skilled like that. Then he was lying the whole time. But still. But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? Because oh. that was his talent. Huh? Well, having a talent means that you are ba also bound to that talent. That moment you obtain the talent, your way of life has already been already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent, regardless of whether you want your life or not. <laughs> ah, in that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a bit more huh, liberating. What in the hell? I'm not happy that you guys fell for that scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right. So I'll tell you straight up, this revelation about Byakia is exactly the truth. But then, what is he trying to say to me at... What was he trying to say to me at the time? I cannot talk to the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn for a long time, my life has been a living hell. Uh, based on the context, if I had to no, guess, no. maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. Uh, but if you guys had your school memories, you would have never been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it would have been totally different if you were meeting him for the first time. But since you guys were at Hope's Peak Academy, you should have known about the other ultimate imposter, right? So in the end, it all leads back to the memory loss. Ah, oh, that future foundation is so awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who is the traitor? Just looking at the 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know for who's from the future foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course. Uh, well, obviously, you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find it out. Uh, just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey, um... In fact, that there, there are 16 profiles in there is wrong. <sighs> I mean, the true raider is a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Hope's Peak Academy. You made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? Ah, <sighs> it wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was that easily, right? Hey, hey. Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was the, that was true for Nagito as well. Hmm. Well, probably. Hope Peak Academy's file is out of the truthful section. <laughs> oh, it's dripping with despair, isn't it? 
He wasted your precious time on something that isn't even a clue. Are you sure Was that a me? wise decision? Time's up, you know. Time's up, wait. Bye -bye. Excuse me for a moment. Yep, he's gonna tell us that it's trial time. That chime just now. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up or down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up. We will begin the last class trial. So please gather at Monokuma Rock. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Ah, uh, I mean, that makes sense that this is the last class trial. He said that, right? He said the last class trial? Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say this was the last class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? No. Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? And he said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, this might definitely be the last one. Yeah. But I can't imagine that this is the real end, huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. His real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to do something to us? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all of this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. Well? But still... It's also not a good idea to think about it too much, right? I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. Class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were, able, were so focused on this file. But I still can't see who killed Nagito. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about it so much, huh? Right. I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if this mystery, that if this is a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as someone cooperates and works together. Yeah, if we do that, things will turn out fine. And in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we will be taking on the last class trial. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!